Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK and welcome. If it's the first time to my channel, please subscribe, like and share. Now this evening, somebody sent me a video on Jamaica and I couldn't let it go unchallenged. Maybe I've got it wrong, but I have to I have to kind of talk about it because it's quite disturbing and I don't like the idea of when statistics are thrown out and people get in a panic and the wrong message is sent. Now I know Jamaica's had a lot of killings, I know they have and I know that the situation in Jamaica is dire with regard to crime. But when Andrew Holness, as you're listening to this video, compares Jamaica with other islands that have a higher percentage of crime and less population, I've got to say something. Anyway, for those of you who haven't heard the video, I'm going to just show you a few minutes of it. Come on. The third most murderous country in the Americas, with 47.2 murders per 100,000, falling only behind Venezuela and El Salvador. Jamaica's murder rate, as at last year, is now 47.2 per 100,000. That is not safe. Reach them. With the support of statistics, Prime Minister Andrew Holness revealed that Jamaica's murder rate is at epidemic levels. Violence is at epidemic proportions in Jamaica. The main cause of violent death in Jamaica would be the category or would be guns, gangs and guns or deaths related to criminal activity. This slide gives you the number of lives lost through violence, through homicides, intention, from 1960 to present. In the decade 1960 to 69, 855 lives were lost to violence. Or rather, homicide. In the decade 1970 to 1970, 1960 to 2009 for each decade from murders moving from April 12 and 15 in the decade 1990 to 1990. Anyway, he, he continues and he compares it with America, El Salvador, Venezuela, and all of those countries. But I just wanted to put a little bit by you because I was trying I'm not very good at maths but um, I worked it out um, that 
out of a population of 2 million, which Jamaican has, they have actually 2.8990,000. 2 so the murder rate translates at 1.44%. And when you look at it from that perspective, it doesn't sound so bad. It's still bad, but it doesn't sound so bad as when they you know, outline all of those figures and all of that amount. Now, over 58 years, there's been 41,684 murders. That's 70, 719 deaths a year over that 58 years. That's a hell of a lot of people dying. And that's all homicides. It's not natural deaths. This is all murders, criminal, gangs, whatever. Um, now, I was going through um, the, the ones he compared, which was Venezuela, Honduras, and El Salvador. And apparently Venezuela is supposed to have the most crime. And what he's saying is that Jamaica ranks third. But if you put it into perspective, it can't, because he's, he's, he's not comparing like for like. And that's what troubles me. That's what worries me, because you're sending out this message around the world. And I'm not quite sure why you would do that, because it discredits the country and it'll stop people from visiting. It'll stop tourism, stop tourism. And I think what the plan is, is to probably get the um, troops in or something with the, you know, in collusion with America. I don't know. But so I don't understand why he wouldn't compare like for like. Um, okay, he compares them with Jamaica, with Venezuela. Venezuela has a population of 32 million. Jamaica is only 2 million. And Venezuela's um, murder rate, I mean, Jamaica, he said, is 46 point, 46.2, I think he said. I don't know where it is now, but it's for, I'm sure he said 46.2 for every 100,000. Venezuela, um, as of 2018, was 81.4 per, per 100,000. Honduras population is 9,075,000. And in 2012, 90 Honduras deaths per 100,000. El Salvador has a population of 6.45 and that had 50.3 per 100,000. So you see the differential there. Also, when he's comparing it with the likes of America having four point something, America doesn't take into account those mass murders, it doesn't, it doesn't factor that into the fig figures. They just kind of do their one-to-one. -one. Now, um, in St. Louis, um, it was, they have a population of 906, 996,726. This is 2017 figures. And their um, rate per 100,000 was 61.8. Their population is less, but their deaths per 100,000 was more. And these are just cities in America. Baltimore, with a population of 619, 493, had deaths of 550.8 per 100,000. Birmingham in, I think it's Massachusetts, well, it's in America, is they have a population of 210,700 and their rate was 40.1 out of every 100,000. And the last one I looked into was Detroit that has a population of 673,104 and their... Um, their deaths per 100,000 was 38.3. So when you rank them against a Jamaica and put it into perspective, that those, those cities have less population but higher rates of death murders per 100,000. 
It's like they were doing something the other day that was throwing it totally out of perspective with Jamaica. And I don't know why they do that. Chicago gets a murder every day, according to Trace.org. Um, in America, like I said, they exclude massacres uh, from their statistics. The Mandalay massacre, there was 58 people shot. And in the Pulse Orlando shooting, there was 50 people shot at one go. So we need comparable data and we need, um, you can't, you know, when you're kind of compared with a smaller geographical um, area, it just distorts the figures. Um, Killing, oh yeah, um, what else was I going to say? Uh, yeah, um, Honduras now, they, when they had 90, they had 90 for every 100,000. They actually cut it by half. And how they managed to cut it by half was by dismissing 4,455 police officers because they were corrupt. And also they had a new curriculum for police training and they improved the penitentiary. We all know that the police all over the world are corrupt, including Jamaica. So I don't know what Holness is planning. I just hope that he's not planning to bring troops in and, you know, as a, you know, under the skies that, you know, it's a country at war and all of this, making it sound so bad. Yes, it is bad. I know it's bad. Jamaica is a very small island to have so many deaths. But compared to, you know, when you compare it to um, like figures, it, it, it's not that bad. It's bad, but it's not as bad as he's making out. The third murderous, that's what he starts his speech with. The third murderous countries in the Americas. You know, it's not right. I don't know why he's frightening the people. And I mean, people sent me that. They're saying, oh, I'm in Aga, Jamaica. I'm not going to Jamaica. You took me Aga there and blah, blah. And that's the attitude people are going to have. Why would you do that to your country? Jamaica is a beautiful country. And yes, there's death, there's death everywhere. But, you know, it doesn't, ah, it just infuriates me when they do that. And I don't know why they do that. Yeah, um, okay, Jamaica was actually 47.2 per 100,000. So like I said, I've given you the figures. Um, oh yeah, I've put up here. In 2016, five police districts overseeing 8% of Chicago's population recorded 32% of its murders. Two Chicago neighborhoods, Burnside and Fuller Park, counted a rate of more than a hundred killings per hundred thousand. People living in them were nine times more likely to be shot in their neighborhood than in safe city safest quarters. And that's in Chicago, one little town. So, I'll leave you with that. And your thoughts and your comments are always welcome. Bye-bye for now.